Hey. So, um, I've heard, um, I've seen a, a few different um, comments about the um, whole idea of mixing pantheons and um, it somehow, um, you know, being less than sacred or somehow destroying sacred culture or something like that. Uh, I find that kind of concept to be a little, I don't know, naive, I guess. Um, and, and here's why. Um, we live in the United States. And most people in this country come from multicultural culture background. And in that, we bring, we were taught aspects of those cultures from our parents and, um, you know, um, bring those into our own, you know, daily lives. For example, um, my parents celebrate Bastille Day. Um, granted, we don't do everything French. But we do practice, we do follow, you know, celebrate Bastille Day. Um, it's one thing that we do. Now, that's one aspect of that culture that we bring into our lives. Is that somehow destroying sacred culture? No. Now, um, in order to, you know, for example, uh, obey the gods of a certain culture, do you need to follow the laws of that culture? No, because the laws that were made by that culture were made by the people, not by the gods. Um, you know... Unless there's some sort of, you know, sort of prophetic notion that says that, you know, this definitely came from these gods, then nobody can do that, though. And, and there's no such thing, I don't think anybody believes that their um, scripture, except for, you know, maybe some Christians, is um, infallible, right? So, um, really, to a point, those laws are a little bit irrelevant, you know? Um, because they came from man, not from God. And um, also, you know, I think to a point, a lot of the, you know, the laws in culture, the morals or values, so to speak, are universal. Um, for example, the, the Asa True Nine Noble Virtues, awesome set of virtues. Um, I think that they're, you know, something that I could bring into my daily life and do. And, you know, I could say the same thing about, um, the, you know, the Druid virtues. But at the same time, these things are things that man set up, not, you know, they didn't come from the divine, so to speak. At least we have no proof that they did. So, um, you know, and who's to say that, that culture is somehow less sacred if you don't embrace the entire thing? What is the entire culture? I mean, that could be argued to the hilt as to, you know, does, does a certain culture do something one way or another? You know, you could go to one town in a certain area and they, you know, practice a certain right one way and in the next town they practice it another. Who's right and who's wrong? Whose laws do you follow? That's a, that's a very, you know, messy idea. Um, I think to, the po to, to a point, you know, we're, we're living in a modern age and, you know, I don't think that that those gods still belong to those old cultures. I think they belong to all, our culture. And our culture is global. Granted, they might, we might still do di different things in different ways around the world, but for the most part, every single day, this culture is becoming more global. And I don't see um, why one can't use a god from one pantheon that you resonate with to represent one archetype and uh, one from another to represent another. It's not um, being disrespectful. It's being modern, you know? Um, Reconstructionists, that's fine. You know, if that's what you want to do, if you want to hold one pantheon, that, that's your thing, that's fine. But it's not mine. And I think that, you know, there are pretty much the majority of pagans who um, mix pantheons in some way, shape, or form. And let's, you know, let's be frank, the ancients did as well. They mixed pantheons. So, um, the Greeks and the Egyptians, most definitely. Um, you know, the Greeks and the Romans, oh yeah. Um, so, um, it's not about disrespect, it's about realism. Um, let's be real about what came from where and what's sacred and what's not. Um, you know, if something is sacred to you and someone else uses it in a different way, well, there it may not be sacred to them in the same way. And you have to respect that because that's not 
your path to dictate. Um, and I think that, you know, there's a lot of, you know, open-mindedness that needs to come to the pagan community as well as other communities. I, you know, one of my missions here on YouTube is to help kind of open the minds and, you know, look at things from a different perspective um, for, for some people who uh, may not have seen that perspective before so that they can lose some of those intolerant um, views that they had before and learn to accept people. And I think that's possible. I really do. Um, and, uh, you know, if you have any questions about how or why I mix pantheons, please ask me. Don't just assume what's going to go on in my past. Um, you know, you feel free to drop me a line. Blessed be.